Hello there, another couple of tools in Modo you can find on the deform tab Push, Flare, Taper and Bulge The Push tool moves geometry along the normals so you'll find that in the deform tab Push tool when you... I'm first going to set the escape because I had something in the tool pipe so select the Push tool click in the window in the viewport and drag right now Everything is selected because nothing is selected and it will simply push out all geometry along the normals and since it's a sphere it will stay a sphere. So if I made a selection, do push, it will only work on the selection like that. Control Z. If I wanted to make it more interesting I could say a linear fall off. I'm going to right click and drag the linear fall off place it and now when I select the push tool click in the viewport to activate the tool now you see a different effect and because the linear falloff is active I can change it interactively press escape to clear my tool pipe this is a push tool now the flare tool is actually a preset of the push tool it's the push tool with a linear falloff, so what I just did, you can do that in one go if you select the flare tool in the deform tab. So I'm going to select the flare tool, click in the viewport and there is my linear falloff. And again, it will push out the verts along their normals with a linear falloff. I can again change or I can select another fall off maybe a radial fall off right click and drag my fall off and drag I have to click in the viewport to activate the push tool and now it's only pushing that geometry so again uh, spacebar to drop the tool escape to clear the tool pipe now, the taper tool. The taper tool is actually a preset of the scale tool with a linear falloff. So again, these are tools that you can create yourself by selecting the scale tool and then adding a linear falloff. So, uh, I was with taper, yes, so the taper tool, click and drag in the viewport, there's my linear falloff and my handles. So you can see it's again only the linear fall off. Again, I can change this fall off to maybe uh, a cylindrical fall off. Click and drag. Right click and drag in the viewport and then click in the viewport to activate the scale tool. And set my action center to origin. Click in the viewport. So you get the idea, taper is the scale tool with a cylinder uh, with a linear fall off. Bulge, again a preset of the scale tool with a radial fall off. So what I've just been doing with oh no, this was the cylindrical fall off. So you can drop the tool, escape to clear the tool pipe. When you right click here in the deform tab on flare, you can set it to bulge. Now click in the viewport and there's my radial fall off. Uh, I was scaling already, I was not setting the radius of the fall off. Again, same thing. Sometimes it's hard to select the right so the right icons, so I'm dragging the radial fall off out of there. See that I select the right handle, make it a bit bigger, and now I can scale it. So you get the idea. A lot of these tools in the Deform tab are actually presets. There are other tools like uh, Move or Scale or Push uh, combined with a fall off and an action center. And as I've explained in uh, previous videos, make sure to watch Andy Brown's movie on uh, the pipeline in Modo. Hope you find it useful and bye.